panel, this is Christy Martinez. And Christy, you're going to make us a drink, right, that you have yes, here? Yes, I am, yeah. What are you making? It's called boba, bubble tea, boba, doesn't matter. Okay. So both drinks are with tapioca pearls at the bottom, which is like a fun little drink that you could drink and chew it. So it's like Ooh. a cute little tea. I like it. Yeah, you could pick any tea you want, flavor it, and then it's like a fun drink to have. Sounds good. Yeah. Let's get started. So right here we have our flavors that I will be using. This drink is called the pink drink. It is with strawberry and then just pure cane sugar, syrup, and then hibiscus tea. Ooh, nice. Yeah. All right. First you want to do the boba. So it's like soaked in different syrups? Is that yeah, the deal? Yeah, so this boba is soaked in brown sugar just so that it's not like, it doesn't have any flavor at the right. bottom. And it complements whatever tea you have. It complements oh, okay. it. <laughs> mm -hmm. So this is unflavored and unsweetened, but it is pink hibiscus. It's nice. gonna be with strawberry. So usually do like three squirts of the strawberry mm -hmm. and then one of the pure cane. And it adds a little sweetness, but it's not too sweet because right. it's all natural flavors. So. Which is nice. Yeah, sometimes when you get boba, it's like, ooh, this is very sweet. Yeah. And then you like can't handle it. And then once that's shaken. Okay. You pour it right over the ice. Yep. And then what we like to do is add a Coconut milk on top. So Excellent. it's like a sweetened coconut milk yeah. cream on top. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, it makes it actually a very beautiful color. Mm -hmm. Kind of gets pink once you like swish it around a little bit. Yep. And then I like to give the customers a pink straw so that it matches. I love it. And that's it. it. This is one of our drinks that we love to sell. You have one more drink for us. Yes, we do. Right. So this one is a very sweet one. The crowd loves it. It's called a brown sugar boba. You'll probably get this literally anywhere. Okay. So it's a very popular one. We're gonna first always start with the bobas and then do the ice. Mm -hmm. Now how long do they have to soak? So the boba soaking, it's it's actually a really long process. So I think they cook for like about 40 minutes and then soak wow. for about like 20. Yeah, it's actually a pretty long process. Nice. And I think that's what really makes or break your boba, yeah. you know, like the texture and everything. So this one's fun. You get to like decorate it with some brown Ooh, sugar. Fun. Syrup on the sides. Mm -hmm. Cute. So this is a black tea base, and then we sweeten it with a natural brown sugar syrup, <laughs> along with pure cane, just to add a little more sweetness to yep. it. So we're gonna do maybe four squirts. Yeah, four squirts of that, and then two of this. Mix it up so that it gets up all even. Mm -hmm. Bing, bing. Fun <laughs> yeah. A little exercise. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, when it's a crowd, yeah. it's crazy. It starts getting back to back. And then some people like to do whole milk. You could do any milk, but I think whole milk, personally, it will just taste better. And then once you pour that in, you could just see it's like, creamy. like the syrup yeah. that's like sticking on the side. So the brown sugar syrup is a big one. It's really pretty. And then that's it. It's a pretty simple drink. I'm here with Tony Martinez, the co-owner of Ma's Crepes and Cakes. And this is a family business, which I love. Tell me about it. Yeah, so thanks for having us, Jackie. Thank you. This business is super fun because it is a family business. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's super tough because mm -hmm. it is a family <laughs> business, but um, we're right here in Jim Thorpe, which is one of the best towns in America. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people coin it the Switzerland of America. Yes. And we opened up our little shop here in June 2022. And it's been super fun ever since. So everything is all organic. The menu is inspired from my mom and my dad's side of the family. They're Italian and Puerto Rican. So we have those delicacies really nice. integrated into the menu. Yeah. Our crepes are what pull people in, but we have a bunch of other things as well. We have mini cakes. We have danishes, we have cookies, we have boba tea, bubble tea. There's a lot you can get when you do come in here. I think that when people come for crepes, they see the menu, they see everything on display, and they're just in shock because they want everything. So we're here at 46 West Broadway, and the building we're in is actually owned by the Inn at Jim Thorpe, and we love the Inn at Jim Thorpe. They've been so accommodating to us, and we're super blessed to be here. If anyone wants to find out our specials or our hours, all they have to do is go to our website, which is mozcrepesandcakes.com, or find us on social media, which is Moz Crepes and Cakes. Excellent. Thanks again, and we had a great time, and the crepes are fantastic. Thanks, Tony. Thanks, Jackie. You're welcome.